The Senate approves an extension until May of surveillance powers under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA. In an exclusive OAN interview, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul says real reform of the FISA law will be offered in two months with his amendment accepting Americans from being targeted by the FISA court and warrants. One America's John Hines has that report. This at least a partial victory for Fourth Amendment rights, in your opinion. You know, I've been saying all along that FISA needs to be fixed, and we should never let what happened to President Trump, Carter Page, the spying on his campaign, we should never let that happen again. And the FISA reforms that came from the House just don't do it. They really don't fix the problem. I'm afraid that we could get the same abuse that happened to the Trump campaign could happen to another presidential campaign. So we've offered amendments. The leadership was blocking our amendments. They wanted to pass it unanimously. Both Mike Lee and I stopped them from doing that. And Mike Lee was able to negotiate with them a temporary reauthorization, but it includes explicit instructions that we get an amendment vote. So there will be some real reforms put forward by both Senator Lee and myself in about a two month period. That allows us to get a little bit beyond the coronavirus problem and then back to regular business in about two months. What sort of amendments at that point do you anticipate you may offer? I think the biggest problem with FISA is that it should not investigate Americans. Basically, it's a secret court. They don't really use the Constitution. You don't have to say you have probable cause or go to a real judge. You go to a secret court. You don't get a lawyer. And what ends up happening is not something that really most of us would call justice. So my amendment would say that basically you can't use the FISA court or their warrants against Americans. If you want to eavesdrop on an American, you say, well, maybe this American is talking to the Russians. How would you do it? You'd get a regular warrant through a real court. And it could still be a sealed warrant where the person doesn't know you're spying on them, but ultimately they would get their day in court, they would be told that you spied on them, and they would get to have a lawyer. That's the way real justice works under the Constitution. What would be the worst thing that would happen, for instance, if the FISA law ran out and uh, we were forced to rely on simply the Constitution? <laughs> well, that's what I've said to many of them. It's like, they're, oh no, what will happen? What will happen? I say, well, can't we even for a few hours, for a few days, rely on the Constitution? Constitution. We did for over 230 years. We relied on the Constitution until we got the FISA court. The FISA court was originally intended to actually restrain presidents from spying on people, and it was put in place to have some rules and regulations to make spying less likely, but it became a rubber stamp over time, and now they approve everything. And really, it was a big mistake for them to spy on a presidential campaign. We can't allow that to happen, and the only kind of real reform would say you can no longer spy, would use this secret court to spy on Americans. If it does not gel into the legislation that you have in mind, are you prepared uh, at the end of the day to pursue a filibuster? Is that still an option? Well, filibuster works in a couple of ways. It can draw attention to a battle, and if you get to 41 votes, you can defeat something. Simply through a successful filibuster has to have 41 votes. If we can get to 41 votes, yeah, and we don't have real reform, we should do it. In the end, probably what we'll get is a debate, and we'll get some votes. There's a chance that a few of our reforms might actually pass. If they did, then I'd be content with the legislation. If our reforms don't pass, I will you know, vote no, and I will try to stop it through filibuster, but there's always the question of whether or not we can get to 41 votes. Senator Rand Paul, thank you very much for talking about American News. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.